What's up everyone? So today I have the Ego 16 inch uh, trimmer with the four amp hour battery. And basically, as you can see behind me, I got a whole bunch of weeds and stuff growing uh, due to the previous rain. And you know, the last couple months there's been a lot of rainfall and then it just blew up back here. So I bought this uh, Ego trimmer. So we're gonna see if this, if with the four amp hour battery that it comes with, 16 inch, if it has enough power to get rid of all this stuff or see how far I could get with it. And then I'm gonna take the mower and mow up all the stuff that is laid over uh, with the Honda mower. And then, um, yeah, see how much we could get through with the four amp hour battery. So let's get into this little DIY review renovation in the backyard and see what it's all about. So before I give you a run through of the backyard and show you how high these weeds are, uh, let me show you the Ego trimmer that I have up close. So this one here is the carbon fiber one. Okay, brand spanking new. So, um, you know, I don't know my expectations on this yet, but I'm gonna compare it to a gas powered one. Uh, mentally, I'm gonna compare it to the gas powered one and a uh, Milwaukee, um, string trimmer as well. Um, and I'm gonna explain that to you, which one I actually, uh, exactly like the most, being able to use all three of them and see if this is even worth the purchase. If you hear a lot of booming, and that's the neighbors playing their music in the back, they always have a, a whole band going on every single weekend and it's quite annoying. So if you have neighbors like that, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's almost like they're running a business back there, but that's besides the point. The reason why I'm not going to bust out the other trimmers to trim this is because I kind of know what they're capable of. Um, and I don't want to compare one to another just because, you know, each one serves their own purpose. Like for instance, the Milwaukee, just give you a briefing. The Milwaukee is great if you already have the battery, uh, the batteries of the Milwaukee and you're not looking to purchase a whole completely new system just buy the Milwaukee. It, it'll actually knock down this stuff. Um, and you might need to charge the batteries more often or buy more batteries, but you are already in the ecosystem. So if you don't want to buy batteries because this is a separate unit, it needs a proprietary battery. If you don't want to do that, just get the Milwaukee and it'll serve its purpose. If you're not looking to deal with any batteries at all, just go with the gas one. Um, mm -hmm. Just look at what the professional uh, landscapers are using if you're looking to get into that realm. A gas one will serve you just fine if you're a homeowner, okay? So, you know, each trimmer that you buy or whatever tool it is that you buy will serve its purpose as long as it, you use it within, you know, the expectations that are gonna basically be given. Uh, battery operated one, uh, professionally, you're gonna need a whole bunch of batteries to maintain you know maybe the 20 properties that you need to upkeep so don't think it's going to be like a gas one you're going to need a whole bunch of batteries okay so as long as you have those expectations that the tool is meant to be serving then you should be okay um, but like i said if you have expectations or you're going to do commercial use buy a gas one or buy a whole bunch of batteries okay uh, if you're going to buy the milwaukee one if you're in that ecosystem or the delwalt one they'll all serve their purpose. Now, if you're looking for power, this here and the DeWalt one for my research are gonna give you the most power out of the battery stuff. So I'm in the uh, Milwaukee ecosystem and uh, I use that for my drills, uh, you know, my grinders, all that stuff is Milwaukee. Uh, but they're not necessarily yard equipment, you know, um, players, okay? They make a, a good yard tool, but they're not the best, okay? Um, these, this company here in particular, Ego, they make yard equipment. So they're gonna focus in all their, you know, resources on this type of stuff, okay? That's why I purchased this because I didn't mind buying the extra batteries because I bought this as a yard tool, not necessarily as a power tool to go and work on renovations on the house, okay? This is to clean up the backyard, so I don't mind keeping this separate. And also the other reason why I bought this is because it's carbon fiber. It's just cool, right? <laughs> no other companies doing carbon fiber. Uh, 
I don't. I also like the fact that when you're at a, a string, you don't sit here and pound the head of the trimmer against the ground, wearing out the surface. Um, it senses when you are low on line, and the centripetal force kind of engages or extends this line. And then you need this guard here because it has a cutter at the end. So as this comes around, it trims it to the right length. That's mainly why I bought this, is because the whole pounding uh, thing, it's gonna mess up the head and then you're gonna have problems later on down the road. This one, you don't have to worry about that. It has the IQ line uh, retractor. So basically you slide this line all the way through, half and half, so 50% here, 50% there. You push this button, and when you push it, it sits there and ratchets everything in. Unlike the old ones where you got to take, the, take this whole unit off, wind it up, and then put it back on, this all does it electronically. And that's another reason why I decided to just buy this Ego and just buy the battery platform. Um, you got an extension here to control the distance. Of where this is located so if you if you feel like it's too heavy you could shorten it if you feel like you know you need it longer because you're bending over you could extend it so that way you know you get more leverage and also it extends out also it's battery operated so you don't have to worry about mixing gas for the two-stroke uh, gas and oil for the two-stroke motor um, this one here in particular breaks down so if you want to store it for whatever reason you store it okay one screw it folds uh there's no drive shaft or no drive line going in the center of this tube the battery plugs in here it has a cable that goes all the way down to the motor down here so all the weights down here and the rest of the weight is back here, so it balances itself out. So you don't have this motor and this big old weight back here driving the line. So that's what's cool about this one as well. On this guard here, you have a, an arrow that tells you the direction it spins. Okay, so one thing I didn't know, and I learned this recently, was the arrow points to the way it spins, right? So this is gonna determine how you cut so if it's spinning this way that means that that's the direction you know your weeds are going to fly so if you're cutting this way you know it's going to shoot them in this direction if you're cutting this way then it's going to shoot them out that direction because you're cutting this way if it's spinning this way it's going to shoot them out that way so that controls whether or not it's going into your yard or out of your yard okay so something to keep in mind always wear safety glasses and as you can see we started with a brand new full battery so let's see how much this cuts so that's basically the layout of everything so make sure you're comfortable in where everything's placed uh, as far as the uh, handle in the rear i like to rest my elbow on the back of this just so i could have leverage and then we're gonna see how it actually Wax. so this is what we're dealing with this is a 21 foot boat and look at these are um, standard wheel size I think these are 17 inch rims um, so yeah that's what we're dealing with so this is what we're dealing with in terms of you know what I gotta cut down and clean up you can hear it traveling down it's not that
so you could definitely feel the power in speed two uh, it's really powerful this whole unit uh, i'm going to show you from left to right and then from right to left to show you how things fly out so here's from right to left As you can see, it's flinging things uh, clockwise. And then if we go from left to right, you'll see it's gonna throw it towards me. So as you can see, it threw it into the guard and not away from the guard uh, because this is spinning clockwise. And if you're trying to trim, you know, you don't wanna fling it out into the street and you wanna fling it towards you, you want to start from left to right. Let me show you what the trimmer actually cut. It cut over here. All this. All this. Those stack super high. All the way down to here of course this is all mowed and then it was mowed to pick it up as well uh, cut all through here cut from here to about right here where that tree is all the way through here this is all full of weeds knocked a lot of that down and then of course as you could see remember this is all full as well all the way up to the wheels knocked this whole section off to give you a, a size from here to here is about maybe four to five feet. I'd lean on five feet. It cut all through here, knocked all this stuff out, all back there as well. So we knocked all this out, all up here as well, all through here. And keep in mind, it was knocking down uh, thick weeds. So you could see compared to my hand, how thick that stem is. There's quite a few of these larger weeds like that. It was mowing through them really easily. Uh, knocked all that stuff out. Hit all underneath the boat here. Uh, about maybe two feet from the boat. All through here. Trimmed all this out of here. Okay, of course I picked up with the mower. Hit it through here. Knocked all this out all the way to here. This section here was done by a mower, a foot out away from that cement, all mower, and then all mower, okay? So I was able to get all this done with just the wee whacker and a four amp hour battery. So, as you can see, I have a lot of abuse on it, okay? Just hitting that stuff. Uh, scrape some of the bottom a little bit, not too bad. I got it all over me, okay? When this thing died, uh, when this thing died, uh, after about 10 seconds of sitting, I was able to start it up. Let's see if I can start it up. Just like that. And it was continuing, it was able to do another run of about, I don't know, maybe a two by two section. It die again, I was able to start it up, do it again. And this is the third time in, as you can see, it still, got, it still got juice to be able to do a little bit. So if you're really in that crunch, you could definitely make this work. My overall thoughts about this, this thing's a beast. Um, I highly recommend it. And the only reason why um, I would say get like a uh, Milwaukee or one of those brands is if you're on the platform uh, and you don't have anything like this or commercial to do every year, then those will suit you fine for doing edges and trim work and stuff like that. Uh, but if you're doing some extensive work, you're gonna want something beefier. Uh, also, if you get like one of the Milwaukee's or DeWalt, the nice thing about those is the battery's not as heavy. Um, that's a downside to this is you got this big old heavy battery and I noticed some fatigue after running this. Um, I didn't keep track of the time. I'd say I was out here for a while maybe an hour or so uh, on and off though. So who knows how long this is actually gonna run for. As far as uh, the line's concerned, 
uh, it did what it was supposed to do when I ran out it would shoot back out never had any issues with it uh, when I was playing around with it before I started trimming what I did notice is if you were uh, utilizing your line further back so if for some reason you cut it off right here right here it would not uh, fly out so you would have to kind of pull on it a little bit to get it to start and then the the centrifugal uh, motion of this and then plus its speed would let it uh, extend back out properly let me show you how this retraction works real quick since i have it out so as you can see it sucked it in now what i like to do is hit the gas but sometimes it doesn't fling it out so i kind of shake it like that to get it to a uh, swing and then it's going to chop on that piece in there so let's do it regular so it did fly out a little bit yeah, I, I could hear it swing out a little bit but as you see it didn't like extend anything too crazy so i like to go like this and now it's the perfect light i want to compare this to is the milwaukee and uh, gas power trimmer the milwaukee i feel like isn't as powerful as this um, it's probably between maybe speed one and speed two somewhere in between there uh, for the milwaukee uh, the runtime is definitely not going to do the same as i was doing there i mean i put this over the test this was uh, i would compare it closer to a gas powered uh, trimmer because it did have power, just plowed through everything without stopping. I compared this closer to a gas powered trimmer. If you're a professional um, user, this would work for you as long as you have the battery supply to supply your clients, right? Uh, if you have a charger on board, like an inverter, uh, where you could charge this off of, say, a gas generator or something like that, um, then use that. Or if you could plug it into a cigarette lighter, so while you're working it's charging the next battery you could probably get away with a couple of these like maybe three or four um, if you have multiple people running these things you definitely need more than that um, and depending on how many lawns you have to do so that's one thing to consider it's quiet you're not uh, annoying uh, the people around you when you're doing this so that's a benefit to this if you're a commercial user uh, one thing Keep in mind though is if you don't have the batteries to back it up you know it's not like a gas trimmer where you could just go and fill it up so that's the only con that i see uh, it never shut down on me once it always provided constant power only time it shut down is when it died okay um, this is a little bit heavy so i do recommend maybe if you're gonna wield this for a long period of time use the strap uh, or come up with a device where you know you could clip it onto a harness of some sort um just because it's it's you know heavy you got all these batteries uh 18650 batteries uh stacked in here so that creates a lot of weight um it'd be nice if they made something like how the backpack mowers are where you could strap it to your arm and then just do this motion but that being said for commercial use it's pretty powerful i was surprised uh, for home use, this is definitely a Cadillac. Um, if you're if you're anywhere looking to get out of like you know the standard platform of your power tools, then this is the way to go. This is what they were designed to do. They were designed to build yard equipment, and they did that. They they designed something robust and heavy duty. Now for the longevity of this, I don't know. I mean, this is the first time I used it. I'm impressed, but who knows? It could die tomorrow. Um, I'm not using this every day it's just when I, I got to trim the yard just regular homeowner stuff and then when I got to do this uh, 8,000 9,000 square foot yard uh, front and back and it doesn't get like this unless it's you know springtime so once it all this gets knocked down because during the winter time I couldn't knock anything down uh, this was growing because it was raining and this stuff seemed like it germinate it overnight it was you know all dirt and next thing you know boom it's green after using this the features i like is the head 
no more pounding. Uh, it's always perfect length. Don't have to trim it. Don't have to worry about it being too short or too long, okay? The carbon fiber shaft's cool, but I mean, overall, it might be a gimmick. Who knows? Um, just because I don't think it adds significant value. Uh, if you know you have an aluminum shaft, it's probably close to the same weight, especially after having this large battery. I do like this extension, uh, especially if you're a shorter or taller person, you could extend it out. For me, I'm a taller person, so more than likely I'm gonna always have this out. Uh, speed adjust is nice. That's another cool feature. Speed one, I'd say use it to trim around the edges like if you're at edging. Speed two, I'd say use it for stuff like this if you gotta knock things down. Uh, this little latch here is cool because now I can hang it in the garage straight down um, without having to lean it up this way or whatnot. I could lean it up, get it out of the way. It'd be nice if they made another mounting bracket where it could clip so that way you could slide it like that and hang it from your ceiling uh, instead of like this on the wall. Uh, just because if you're not using this every day, it'd be nice to get it up out of the way. Now, some of the cons, the things that I don't like, I just washed it off, but in here, you get stuff built up in there all along these cracks and crevices. It just stacks up in there. Uh, doesn't hinder the motion. It's just extra weight that's gonna add to it. Should have made this smoother, but I know uh, during the injection molded uh, state, they probably had to create these voids so that way it would release properly and they get a rigid part like this is all for structure and you gotta maintain a constant thickness so that way there's no blemishes in the injection molding process. So that's, that's one of the complaints I have but that could be with all of them, like all the brands. And then the biggest complaint would be the weight. It does weigh a lot with this battery. Um, but I mean, more runtime, you're gonna need more battery and more power, you're gonna need more battery. So it's a trade-off. Um, those are my only two grapes. One thing I wanna inform you guys on is whenever you use yard equipment like this, you need safety glasses because this stuff flies all over the place and you don't want to lose an eye over a wee whacker or a trimming unit whatever you want to call it uh, you definitely don't want to lose an eye because you didn't have the proper uh, protection so definitely get that and you wear a mask if you're mowing just because the mower does kick up a lot of dust what i tend to do for the mower which is a good tip is i wet the bag uh, so none of that fine dust flies out. Uh, it pretty much mitigates a lot of it into the bag and traps it. So when mowing, sprinkle the bag, don't drench it, just sprinkle it, and that will contain the fine particles uh, for the most part. So that's gonna complete today's little tackle on this home renovation. As spring arrives and I have to get the lawn back in tip top shape or not even the lawn, just the backyard weeds tamed. As you can see, it goes all the way back there. And there's gonna be more of this stuff. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is um, put some weed killer in here and fertilize this with a new seed. Try to grow this properly instead of it being uh, weeds and, and dirt from last year. Okay, so we'll get this all cleaned up. So that's gonna complete today's video. If you like this video, and you want to see uh, videos like this in the near future, consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.